All right, welcome to the second section. Now, in this section, we'll be talking about the basics of PHP. So, again, here is the XAMPP control panel. Let me just give you a quick brush through whatever we did in the last tutorial. So, for using PHP, we only need to start the Apache module, right? So, let's go ahead and do that. Now, we have to wait till this yellow uh, sort of shade turns greenish, which will see, which will indicate that the service is running, right? So, there we go, it has turned green. So now we can go to our browser and open the local host page which should open up if XMPP is installed properly which it does right so here we are at the XMPP page now let's go ahead and make a new file for doing that let's go to notepad plus plus and php in its minimal form as i said is this right a less than symbol a question mark php followed by a question mark and a greater than symbol so let's save it as a .php file. I'll just say practice.php maybe. Right, so now this turns red which means that the syntax is correct. We also looked at something else in the previous tutorial which was the echo command, right? Echo is used to display text on the screen. So let's quickly see one demonstration and then we'll continue with the further explanations. Again, echo my name is Akib will display the text on the screen and semicolon is used to end the statement. Right, so let's save it and run this in the browser. Again, for running this, we are required to remove the dashboard and type the name of the file. Right, so it's a practice.php. So there we go, my name is Akib, that is the required output which we expected. Right, now if you want to split this into different strings, right, if you have different strings like my name is Akib and you have another set of words right my name is uh, or my surname is something else so what we can do is we can use a dot operator here dot i love making tutorials right so this dot operator basically is used as a concatenation operator which means to combine two different sentences right you can definitely write this together that is not a problem right you can write everything together but if you have suppose two different variables so how will you combine them that is we do using the dot operator right so let's quickly see the output for this one and then i'll tell you guys about what a variable is so there we go my name is Akib. i love making tutorials now php is a very free form language right you have another command for displaying text which is the print command you can use either of those so let's see the output in this case we get the exact same output so echo and print serve the same purpose you can use whichever suits you right i prefer echo because it is you know different right so now coming to variables in php a variable is a name storage location right so in most of the other programming languages what happens is that we have to specify the data type of the variable before declaring Right, so we need to say whether the variable is an integer or a character or a string but in case of php there is no such restriction you just have to write the name of the variable and its value there is a syntax to be followed here the variable name starts with a dollar sign and whatever name say my name this is the name of my variable and you can give the value whatever value you want again my age will be 19 right so this is the beauty of php two different variables one is a string one is an integer but there is no difference in their syntax right if it was cc plus plus or any other language you have to say int my age is equal to 19 and char my name is a key right so let's quickly display this and see what we get so i'll say echo my name dot my age right so instead of no, messing it up let's give it a bit of space here right so that is where the dot operation comes in handy right now again let's refresh this and it says Akib 19 this is the value of name and this is the value of age so that was it for this tutorial guys go ahead try the basic commands out and I'll see you guys in the next one where we'll be talking about the if else and other condition statements so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys later